welcome back to another Train Sim World 3 video. We are on the Rhinebra Austin route today, and we're going to be in the ES64U2-033, which, in other words, is the DB, well, the, DB, the BR182, not Deutsche Bahn, it's MRCE. Uh, this is one of the other renditions of it, because we've got the Deutsche Bahn one, the MRCE one, and the Despolok one. This was the second one from Hamburg Lübeck, but we're using it on Rhinebra Austin, because every German train actually goes on to every single route. But anyway, let's get in, uh, and we'll get it all set up. I need to um, put the uh, bits on in here. Uh, Cifa, even though it's annoying, we put it on. Uh, make sure they're all good. Run back to the front. Uh, we shall change the contrast. Just quickly pop them. There you go, change that. Um, anything on here? Release. PZB, get that on. Even though that's annoying. Well, actually, no, PZB is actually alright. Get that on. Uh, looks like we are in the wrong PZB mode at the moment. Yeah, we want to be in that. Let's quickly uh, flick that off and flick it back on. That should now be in the right one. Yeah, it's in 70 now. Which I'd say... Ooh, actually... You probably want to go in heavy for this one, actually. So, yeah, we're carrying fuel. So... Well, that's heavy. <laughs> so, let's... Let, we'll go in PZB mode um, and the other one. There you go. You see it's changed again. Set that to uh, 40. And I think we're probably all good to get going. A little bit of throttle on. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to Wuppertal Steinbeck. Uh, so we're going over here. That's where we're heading. That's like a bit of a while. It's not the most powerful locomotive, this one. But when it gets going, it, it gets going. You can sort of hear it turning on. And then, go. I always get wheel slip in this. Oh, are we moving? Oh, no, not really. It's, it, it takes a while. I'm always bound to get bloody wheel slip as well. There we go, we're slowly going. I've got the sander on. Just to help us get going. It's a very, very clean locomotive. I love the, this livery on it. It's one of my favourite livery out of the lot. Especially with the um, wagons or the um, tankers behind us. It sort of look, makes it look even better. And anyway, off we go. On this uh, autumn evening in Wobberton. Get that down a little. I think it's automatic points in this yard. Or at least in the bit we're in. I've got the whole thing actually I haven't. And off we go. See if it, yes. But yeah, another reason why I thought we come on Ryan Ross is because it is three years old. I mean, the amount of things which have changed in three years, I'm sure for all of us, but certainly me, three years ago, this route released. So, um, yeah, I don't know where on earth that time's gone. Three years ago, that was my first year at college, which obviously got cut short because of COVID. Yeah, before COVID come, this route came out, it was, uh, yeah, I remember staying up until about 2 in the morning on this route for quite a few days in a row. So I think it came out when it was like holiday, or near enough when it was holiday. So I was on this route a lot when it first came out. And one of the reasons was because um, the, um, uh, what was it, the 422 really did remind me of um, the 700 in some way. Yeah, it's walk through, it's got that sort of open front. So I absolutely loved playing this route. But it's just weird to think it's three years old. And it came out when TSW and console was just over a year old. So yeah. And it's very, very steep down here, so um as you can probably tell. So we've got to be quite careful. That's a good question. What's everyone's first memory on Train Sim World? That sort of first memory it sort of comes back to you as soon as you think, mm, sort of original TSW days. For me, it would be getting up at bloody six or five or six in the morning and playing Great Western Express. Deeper. 
Stay fair, yeah. Don't worry, we're all good. There we go, though. Yeah, look at that, though. Wow, it really is a long train. I'm quite glad we did put it into the heavy mode on PZB. Look at that, though, the reflection of that. Such a nice locomotive with a perfect livery to it as well. Yeah, this one's off Hamburg Lübeck. And it looks like we've got its counterpart, the 185. The 185 also has an MRC livery, and that's one which comes with this route. So when you get Ryan Ross and you get this one, I think it's the dot five. Yeah, dash five. That's a nice one as well. I'll probably speed up a bit. I don't know why we are going so slow. Can we get to a hundred actually? That is our top speed, 100, because we've got the um, heavy PZB mode on. So. Getting going. So I think we'll be on the slow lines most of the way. Ah, it's one heavy train. FIFA, FIFA. All right, guys. I do like the uh, German tankers. They just so sort of they look so complex. You know, if you compare those tankers which we got behind us to say the uh, the British or American ones. They're very simple, those ones, uh, the British and American ones, but these ones look proper. You know, there's a lot going on on them. You've got the whole staircase going up there, and yeah, I do like the German um, tanker. Tankers. See if it, yeah. Yeah, 100 there. There's the Wuppertal upside down monorail there. It's always intriguing to see. A little, more, a little bit more throttle. And then you've got Wuppertal Barman, I think this one is, and you've got Wuppertal Unterbarman, and then Wuppertal Helped Banoff, and then Wuppertal Steinbeck, and you go into the freight yard there. Yeah, it's a nice route, this one. As I said, one I actually got on launch. There's quite a lot of TSW routes, you know, one set outside of the UK. I didn't do... I, I, I didn't usually get them on launch day. But this one I did, I think. We do need to slow down to 55 and fairly quickly as well. So otherwise the train is going to have a right go at us. But we might actually miss it. No, we should be alright. Fingers crossed. It's gonna be close. Oh, we done it. We're all good. Deeper. Deeper. I might have actually done the brakes a bit too much there. Start speeding up again. Go. There you go. I think. Oh no, we haven't got it under control. Not just yet. Oh no, certainly not. I think we might come to a stop. It's near enough a red light. It's um. Come on, don't come to a stop. Don't come to a stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm gonna put that up just so you get a bit more power. It's gonna be close. We're literally fighting against the train at the moment. No, I think we're all good. I think we're all good. We were quite sensible bringing it down there. Yeah, look at that though. Lovely. When PZB goes off, you need to bring it down quickly. There's no mucking about. Oh, 
Alright, we'll continue on. I've got a distance green over yellow and a main green over yellow. So we shall stay at this speed for now. Suka by on the floss on. Got a warning as well. Which the AI just pelt it along, they don't care about PZB. Like PZB and AI, yeah, they just they just they floor it. <laughs> It's quite fun to see though. This is why it's come down to 40, because of this. Which is why you should like German signals. German signals are nice. They tell you what speed you're going at, what speed junctions are, and they're nice. And Peter B's more of your friend than your enemy. It helps you out the best it can. You just got to do what it says, otherwise it will become your bad friend. And this is Wuppertal Unterbarmen. Okay, fat. There's what's on the outside line. We've been so we've been sidelined here. It's the outside one. Might be too long. We'll be there. And you got a. Uh, Distant signal of a green there, and it looks like we may already be going back on to the other lines. So uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Although I suppose if another train was going to overtake us, it would make sense, but not really because that's not happening. Yeah, we're going straight back on to this line now. There you go. There we go. Right across this time. What was the point of doing that bit there? Superman for Sun. Tifet, yeah, there we go. Let me continue on. There's a 4 2 2. That probably has to wait for us to come across, doesn't it? Well, not for long, though. We're pretty much off now. That one's going to Hagen. It's a very scenic route, this one. See if it, yes, yeah, about the same time. Yeah, if you like your scenery, you like this one. You've got two, there's two ways of getting to Hagen, because just up from where we started, it splits off. You get the cunt of the village, the slow line, which stops at all the little villages and towns. Then you've got the fast line, which only stops at one place, that's Ennepetal. Ene Ene so you get a nice choice. And quite a lot of trains also terminate at Wuppertal at Luba Barman. See if that, yeah. There we go. Looks like we're allowed in. I can see a uh, single yellow there. That should be for us. Continuing round. Yeah, that's for us. It's for you as well. Cool. Yeah, nice little service. Which if you don't have PZB on, probably would take you little to no time. But as we've got all the systems on, we have got to abide by all the restrictions. There we go. Lovely. See if it. Yeah, there we go. And we come into the yard. That one's waiting for us there. Hello. 
they mind us. That one's off to uh, Wapatel, so that one terminates at the next stop along. Doesn't matter if you're late then. So you fit, yeah. But yeah, this train we're in at the moment is from... Um, well, I suppose you get two ways now. Uh, well, this speci specific livery is from hamburg Lübeck. Although I suppose if you've got the, uh, the new expansion pack with the Despolok 182, you can also use that as well. Well, I prefer this livery. Smarter. So we're coming into this one. See fit, yes, there we go. Oh, that sun's raining down again on us. A little bit of... Uh... No, get that down a bit. Yeah, just a tad. Also bring our speed down as well, so we'll be a red light along here. Bring that down again. See if it yet. And here we are. This is Wuppertal Steinbeck. We made it. See if it, yes, there we go. And here we are. Well, that should hopefully be alright like that. Yeah, stop. There we go. Well, there we go. Uh, that is going to be everyone uh, for today's Train Sim World free video. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. That was from the Ryan Rot Austin. Links can be found in the description to the Discord, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. But after that, thanks for coming in, and I hope to see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.